friends, welcome to the pragmatic world, a world where we only believe in reality. Friends, we really don't know how many interesting mysteries collectively shape Mahabharat. Today I am going to speak about the most important and cunning character for whom the Mahabharata happened. Yes guys, he is none other than Shakuni. Well, Shakuni is considered as a villain in the Mahabharata. But why? Let me tell you a lesser known story of a well known villain. Shakuni was the one who instigated Duryodhan to fight against the Pandavas. But do you know what question arose in my mind? Was Shakuni really loyal to his sister Gandhari and wanted to save her clan? You will be shocked to know the answer. The answer was a big no. Well, now the question arises, why? Yesterday night, my father disclosed the secret story of Shakuni. Shakuni was the king of Gandhar, a smaller region than Hastinapur. Hastinapur's guardian angel was Bhishma, who took the marriage proposal of Dhritarashtra to the king of Gandhar. Shakuni felt very insulted as he did not want to give his sister's marriage to a blind king and so he refused the marriage proposal. Bhishma, hearing this, attacked Gandhar and made his father Subla, along with his hundred sons, including Shakuni, prisoners. Much later, Bhishma came to know that Gandhari was a widow and she had a curse that whoever she marries first will die. And the next time she marries, that person will live. And so, the father of Gandhari, Subla, made her marry a goat and later on killed it. So, technically speaking, Gandhari was a widow. And soon the people of Hastinapur said that the king has married a widow. Bhishma felt very angry and cheated. As Bhishma had already captured them as prisoners, he never stopped being a good host. Which means that Shakuni and his family were well treated with all foods and luxury. But day by day, the food quantity became lesser and lesser. And there came a point where everybody had to eat a handful of rice. Now comes the interesting part. Seeing this, Subla thought that everybody will die in this way. So he decided to feed at least one child and keep him alive for revenge. And that child was Shakuni. Now you must be wondering, why Shakuni among the hundred sons? Well, there's a story behind it. Subla called all his hundred sons and took a test. The test was to put a thread through a piece of bone. Everybody failed except for Shakuni. Shakuni tied the thread to an ant and put a piece of grain on the other side of the bone. And in this way, he successfully passed his task. And so, he was chosen. Shakuni ate all the food as he saw his family die in front of him. One day, Subla called Shakuni and asked him to close his eyes. The moment he did that, Shakuni's father hit him on the ankle with a stick and cracked his bone. Shakuni shouted in pain and asked his father why. His father replied that now you will limp for the rest of your life and this limping will remind you why you were fed and your purpose in life will only be revenge. And he advised Shakuni that after his death to cut his fingers and make dice out of it. He will ensure that whenever Shakuni throws it and with whatever number in his mind he thinks of will appear. And thus, Shakuni will be unbeaten in the dice game. One day, this will be handy. And it did, when he defeated the Pandavas. And thus started the great epic of Mahabharata. I hope you like this video, friends. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update. And also, don't forget to like and share with your friends too. Till then, bye, take care.